Okay, now I need to heal. I did go and sell my uh, my items from that exploration off screen. Let's go and heal. We do have a request. This is yet another one of those go back to the place to examine before requests. So, obtain a sure? laxative. This is obviously not going to end well, is it? I have found it. Yeah, I have a feeling we should not let Elizabeth get her hands on something like this. But then again, we let her get her hands on the pacifier, so we're already doomed. <laughs> Although I do kind of like this. I, I still love Elizabeth and Theo's poor grasp of how the world works. Well, yeah, probably the medicine cabinets. Unfortunately, we have to take Akihiko in order to find that. And I kind of still want to have Kanji in the party because I might run into one of these things that I need to get the eye from. While I'm here, might as well view um, this because I apparently need to do a stroll to figure out that Akihiko is the one who knows the medicine cabinet. Hmm. That's probably not healthy, though. I don't want to tell her that straight up. Exercise is good. Exercise of is very good. Not. What? Yes, teach her, master. Wow! <laughs> huh? Yeah, the reason why he wants to get stronger, it's kind of depressing. It's You'll find that out in Persona 3. However, this is not about that. Huh. Yeah, I remember that too, so I don't know why we need to bring Akihiko for this, but at least it's better than needing to bring Yukari just to tell the difference between a pink heart and a blue heart. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, of Let's course go. he would notice. What? Well, you wanted to work out. And next is this. Leader. I think we're all. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope, run. What? Yeah. Once again, you oh, being a deadpan on. troll. It is really disappointing how the P5 anime, from what I've heard, didn't really do a lot with the P5 protagonist character. <sighs> Oh, please tell me Koromaru didn't eat some of that. I can't believe this. Well, there are some people who just don't know how to cook well at all. Like, to be honest, I, I believe like I believe this was totally outlandish and would never happen in real life, but um, I have actually heard of real life cooking incidents this bad. Risei's, from what I've heard, not as bad, it's just that she tends to use a lot of spiciness. What? <laughs> what, you mean one bite and you get snubbed for an Oscar win? I'm sorry. Just oblivious you mentioned the fact that I actually really, really did not like La La Land at all when I saw it, but anyway. Huh? <laughs> oh, she uh... is. She is. Aww. Uh, well, um... Please, let's not mention the fact that Mitsu can probably cook decently. <laughs> but also, you know. Teddy owned. Hmm. Yeah, Yukari, I'd say, is probably average. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, that was actually a moment back in P3, I still remember that. Junpei got a big laugh out of that happening. You serious? <laughs> I love Yosuke's reaction to that. Whoa. <laughs> and use. Woo! What? <sighs> Whoa! Damn it. Uh, I'm sorry, but Gary Stu has monopolized all of their cooking, including Fuka's. He would eat her cooking just to have her as his waifu. Well, I mean, if you'd grown up around Yukari and Mitsuru, the Teddy Own Count would probably be even higher than it already is. 
But yeah, that's actually probably one of my favourite, um, uh, stroll conversations just because of Yosuke and Yu's reaction to the fact that there's actually a girl who can cook normally. Anyway, uh, right, let's see if there's anyone who needs to go in the party. I want to still use someone with curse. And I do need to bring Akihiko to this dungeon. I guess I'll swap... I would swap Igas out, but she's lower level. But I still want Kanji in this. Because, you know what? I'm actually going to go and hit up all the power spots and just try and get an ambush when I next go in. Because I really, really want to get this item. Because then we can take out two side quests with one dungeon visit. Okay, so let's head out. After we give Archeo a persona, obviously. I almost forgot about that, but I just caught myself. Oh, and he already has one. That should be fine then, but he probably doesn't have... A... Nope, he does not have, have armor at all. Now then. Yeah, I know exactly where it is, so we don't even need you here. I guess they give those pointers for the sake of people who didn't make a map, and I understand that if you do not make a map, it would definitely be really hard to find where that place originally What's was. That power spot again. Um, you've you've probably seen what the maps look like on my Rush Persona 4 route playthrough. They do not look legible at all. There we go. You know, knowing my luck, I'm gonna get a rare item instead of an ambush if I do this. I did. <laughs> of course I did. <sighs> like I said, of course, it's just... That's part of why Royal Mithril calls the random number generator the desire sensor, because always, like, the game knows what you want, and it will not give you what you want. Yeah, there is a way you can weave through this area and not get any, uh, step on any rattle tiles. Oh! I didn't know you were back this soon. You factor into the Persona 4 exclusive scene a lot more. Oh, and I remember that you're a huge troll during that Elizabeth fight request, but I'll get to that later. At least it's very easy to, you know, outrun this FOE here. And thankfully, it doesn't uh, get affected by a shortcut, so it won't hold the door there. The power spot there is active again. Shall we I'm not going to get an ambush, am I? Of course I'm not going to get an ambush. Again, I want an ambush and it's just not giving one to me. Why don't we examine it? I have confirmed that a power spot is up ahead. Shall we investigate? Sigh. The power spot there is active again. Shall we investigate? Really? Ah, oh, yeah, I give up. So many trips through this area. I've reset each of those power spots twice and I have not gotten any ambushes still. So, let's keep going then. We'll probably get one to show up in a random encounter anyways. So, it shouldn't be that bad, but... Back in here and the lights are off, so we're going to need to turn the lights on in order to get to the medicine cabinet. I put the wrong mark on one of those switches. There seems to be a switch up ahead. What should it's we on. do? Let's see if we have anything here. Damn it. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. Then maybe you'll return to your no, normal, unflanderized self. I don't think this is gonna end well. But regardless, we can actually head through here now. Just to explore this area a little bit. Thought there'd be one there. This is actually our last major obstacle on this floor. And yeah, we are totally blocked that way. We actually have to use the darkness key to unlock the upper area. I've confirmed a switch up ahead. Should we go press it? Well, after this battle, we will. Don't let it run away. That's a rare one. 
Okay. I'll beat it for sure. Okay, we can get revenge on the Phantom Master and uh, get some experience uh, to boot. Good. Hopefully this will work. Let's see. Uh, Death Lethargy Circle. I guess I can Shinku hard that thing. Uh, Silent Circle's not really gonna help. I guess I can Meraki. And I guess we'll, uh, I guess just Assault Shot. Yeah, this is not really the kind of party setup that I'd normally go with. It's a bit unbalanced, but I had to bring Akihiko here, and I still want Kanji just in case that other thing shows up. Because it was either him or Zen and Rei, and Zen and Rei have a higher level. Leave this to me! Speaking of which, I have noticed, I am definitely very, very under level for this point in the game. Of course that would happen. At least the Phantom Master was already down, but that means no Lethargy Circle. Okay. I don't think this could miss. I've never actually seen this happen on any, on any gold hands before. Yeah, it did one-shot them, and thankfully it didn't finish off this thing. I normally wouldn't be thankful that a Phantom Master wasn't finished on, off, but... Oh, also, uh, now it's showing concern for Kanji, uh, shipping. Anyway, because now that I can revive Kanji, he'll be able to reap the experience from those enemies. So I actually kind of want to hold back here, just to make sure that Kanji comes back before the battle ends, so he can get the experience from it. Kanji's taking a lot of damage. Kanji, are you sure you're well? Yeah. Why? You worried? I like Kanji and Naoto's battle interactions. Uh, before I do anything, I should probably go for an emergency renewal ray, just in case something really bad happens. I'm gonna defend with those two, just to kind of make sure they get the benefit of the experience here. Though I don't know if this will actually save everyone. Doubt this will do enough damage, we'll see. Here I go! That did, though. Okay, good. We get the full amount of experience from that. If only all opponents were this easy. <laughs> Phantom Master is not that easy. Phantom Lamp, though. Yeah, that's a new item for Theodore. Kanji, you're pretty banged up. Did you even notice that? Well, I certainly noticed. And, well, Naoto certainly noticed. Okay, so the lights are still on. It should be pretty simple how we solve this. We just turn the lights off There's a switch here. over here! Oh, there's one there. Forgot about you. I guess because the lights were on when we explored this path before. But there's still a free path over to the door. There's something up ahead. You should try searching over there. So with the darkness key in hand, we can unlock here. But like all classic RPG keys and Zelda keys, because Zelda usually isn't really an RPG. There's something suspicious about They're one this use wall. only. I'd like to investigate. Speaking of one use only, that shortcut can only be used one way. Imagine if there were one use only shortcuts. I wonder if there's something like that in an Atrium Odyssey game. Now, as usual, there are a ton of these things here. And from the looks of things, we actually cannot get anywhere. Oh, here there we go. There's a, a light switch, switch here. Ahead. Shall we press it? Or should I destroy it? No, don't destroy it, otherwise we wouldn't be able to progress further at all in this dungeon. Three enemies, and they're pretty strong. Keep your guard up. Commencing annihilation. Come, I don't like the fact that these things combine a defense debuff with Impossible. the police shadow and this thing. <laughs> And you're content to use that even without corrosion, aren't you? Peter, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. At least you don't have that effect up just yet, so I can probably afford to get a few hits in on you. I guess I can argue loud. And maybe Toxic Slice to get a bit more damage in. Immediate knockdown! That's gonna help. 
You might notice that we haven't encountered an enemy with ice corrosion yet. We will later. But I find that one to be one of the least dangerous of all of them, because by the time you get to it, you're leveled to the point where the corrosion enemies aren't nearly as bad as they were before. They can still get you if you're not careful, but they're not automatic death like they are in the early floors. And that's a finish bonus. I do wish, I hope Persona Q2 makes all-out attacks more consistent, because with the way it is, it's a bit hard to get the finish bonus, given the all-out attack is random. I expect more encounters like this. Yes, I do too, but hopefully there'll be more encounters with the thing that I actually want to run into on this floor. Kanji, you're pretty banged up. Did you even notice that? Now I guess I'll Madeira again. So yeah, now There's I can over there. around here. You want to go check it out? So... Now we know where the darkness key is for this area. And thankfully they don't give you any tutorial spiel on how it works, as they assume that you're familiar with it by now, which is good. It's not like, you know, cough, 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 Link's Awakening, which every single time you get the compass, it has to tell you, this compass will now tell you when there's a key in the room. Every single time you get the compass. <sighs> I have found a switch. Yeah, there's a lot about there's Link's Awakening that I hope they fix in the You're remake. Press it? I love how you turn the switch off and the doll is immediately there. A regular open door here. You might notice though that activating this switch actually traps us in here. There might be a switch nearby. Let's try searching for it. So we're gonna need to either find a different switch or make use of shortcuts in order to get the darkness key to the door here. Pretty strong. Keep your guard up. Easy does it, Kanji Kun. Huh? Uh, I'll be fine. Just fine. I'm surprised they haven't heard a lot of their their team dialogue very much. Another door. So yeah, as you can see, the darkness key puzzles are getting a little bit more involved here. Ah, power spot. There's a power spot over there. Do you want to check it out? Maybe we'll finally get ambushed. Okay, that one we can't go through yet. That wall's bugging me. It's weirding me out. Come on, ambush. Oh, really? You just don't want to give me the thing that I want. You know that I'm going to get an amazingly useful item out of that side quest. You wiggled a lot more than they usually do. That was kind of weird. But yeah, as you can see here, we can't progress uh, any further forward with the lights off in this room. But there's no obvious light switch on the walls here. that we actually do have a way to get the darkness key to the door now. Or at the very least, we have a way to get into the lower half of this room with the lights off. Because we can actually take a shortcut through here. As I said, the darkness key puzzles are more involved now. Now, there are probably more dolls. Yep, thought so. Because last time we came through here, the lights were were on. But now we can we can use this. This puzzle sounds like something that I could easily see in a Zelda game. I will say though that all of them the introduction there of the darkness key ahead. puzzles. Shall we press it? Or should I destroy it? I've always felt that floor three of the Evil Spirit Club was one of the least memorable in the entire game. Because I think it, I kind of chalk it up to, so the group date cafe was the first dungeon to have three floors. And in each floor, it, it introduced a new type of FOE. There were three in total, and then floor four threw all of them at you at once, which added, which made for some pretty good combined puzzles. Now here, there's no new FOE for the third floor, so as a result, it feels a little bit unmemorable to me compared to the first two. 
It is the first floor to introduce the hospital aesthetic, but I don't know, it's really just the earlier aesthetic that turns in green. Suspicious. Maybe we should try looking around it. Oh. Oh, that's a rare one. It's here. Let's be careful about this. I was hoping the long loading screen meant this is the thing that I want to see. So I still, I really want to see that thing. Leave it to me! I missed! We're just thinking about Ike still having the lime howitzer. I don't know if I've actually. Hang on, I don't think I have mentioned this before, but it is named after Quick Lime, which is a substance that was often used to snare birds in hunting. Shakespeare loves using lime as a metaphor. Uh, it shows up in a lot of those plays. But anyway, this thing should be pretty much doomed right now, so. I guess I can try a link. There. One power weapons don't really matter when pretty much everything you're using does one damage it. Anyway. I'm getting a lot of these the hands of the battle are compiled. on a party that I don't really want to be leveling up all that much. But yeah, this is actually... Your item bag is almost full. Make sure you tidy it up. Yeah, I'll need to, um... You're not popping up, which means the lights are on here. But yeah, uh, this might seem weird, but this entire area, like... What I'm drawing a line down here... This entire area is actually all one room, one room, even though it doesn't look like it. The wall ahead is projecting large amounts of fishiness. So now we just have to find where the darkness key is in here. And here it is. So this time we need to get from here down to there with the lights off. We need to make use of the fact that, again, this is all one room. <sighs> Still not what I want. And they're pretty strong. Keep your guard up. Put up your dukes. Unless it's only on the fourth floor, but you got the side quest at the start of the third floor. I'm sure that it can show up here. I'm just getting surprisingly lucky with not getting ambushed on P-Spots, even though that's what I want to happen now. And honestly, I actually welcome that giant shadow showing up, because I find it way easier to deal with than all the corrosion enemies in this dungeon. It's really not that bad as far as giant shadows go. Okay, so with the lights off, obviously, as you can see here, we can't progress any further on that side. We'll actually need to make use of one of the other doors. Hi, giggling dolls. One day we'll come back and fight you, but today's not that day. And obviously we can't go up because that path is blocked by a doll too. Speaking of dolls... There are a few in here, however... Let's grab that darkness key. And yeah, nothing to stop us from getting the darkness key to the lock here. The wall ahead is projecting large amounts of fishiness. And now we have a shortcut that leads back towards the beginning of this floor. And we're actually almost done with the floor. For now, that is. We found the stairs. Let's proceed. Let's not just yet. Though I will during this episode, because that'll unlock something new. There's a treasure box. What do you want to do with it? Three enemies, and they're pretty strong. Keep your guard up. You're going down! Again, I got my hopes up. There's no longer loading screen for the fight. I swear, I'm getting so unlucky getting this thing to show up. It's like the opposite of those side quests back in um, Persona 3, where the shadow would only drop the item that you needed if you'd accepted the quest. Here, I've accepted the quest, and that item just doesn't want to show up. 
So direct guard, I'm guessing that is... Okay, reduces physical damage. Something about this place seems suspicious. Let's search the area. And I wonder if this is that thing that I thought happens towards the end of this area. <sighs> oh, it is. I'm pretty sure it is. This is another side quest unlock. Oh, come on. Well, anyway. What? No, man. <sighs> yeah, you would get pretty mm. sick of all of this cognitive created food here because they can only make the same thing over and over again. It's just mm -hmm. like Scanlan's Magnificent Mansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell? Are you alright? <laughs> no way, man. Now they're aware of how he sees their cooking and are using it to troll him. love this line. This is one of my favourite lines. I also like to refer to Shell from Fire Emblem Awakening as the unofficial fifth member of the four awful cooks of the apocalypse. Alright! Great! I I'm begging you. <laughs> I love the name of this request, by the way. SOS. Save our stomachs. And I seem to have put a red treasure chest in the middle of nowhere. The mysterious blood red treasure chest. But this is actually all we can explore of this floor for now. If we go back to the chest and check it, in fact, I probably could do that now just to show it off. Though I'd probably rather exit and go back because it's on the way to resetting the power spots, which I want to do badly. Still can't believe that thing hasn't shown up yet, but I guess that's recording. <laughs> okay, this is weird. Thank I've got waiting. insanely Please. good luck Continue. with the power spots and just made it a ton of money, and it's not what I want. Also, I, I love that armor named Heroes Nickers. That just sounds pretty funny. Anyway, we can make more stuff, though, now. We can now make Brave Ant and Stonard. Unfortunately, they only target one person, so I don't really find them all that great. Gases. The annoying thing about this dungeon is you can't actually make the guaranteed escape from battles item yet, and that's bad because we would really need that later on. Increasing endurance. Yeah, I probably prefer this for the slight boost of the endurance stat. I'm gonna actually go ahead and buy that. Probably won't sell the purple suit though. Oh, and finally, I guess gets better uh, equipment, although Bloody Char will be finding that on the next floor. But your current defense is incredibly low. Ugh. It's, it's hard to know when to upgrade armor and when not to. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and heal and then I'm going to go back in to try and reset that power spot and hopefully actually get ambushed this time. Yes, yeah, Save Our Stomachs is now available. I'm going to put that off until the next part. That's another one of those... Requests that happen through dialogue choices in a stroll. Just notice that I haven't really found much in the way of new personas from battles either. Yeah, all, all I've got is Mothman. At least I've fused a few good ones lately. Every time I reset the power spots, I have to buy another Goho M. But I'm doing this so that I don't have to buy those anymore. I think it might be a common, re well not common, but at least more common regular encounter towards the very end of this floor, so I could just try running around until it shows up, because I swear it does show up. In fact, let me just check my notes to make sure that I'm not totally deluded. And that it does actually show up now. Yeah, it, my notes say third story. And like I said, I can just show I found this. found a treasure box. Oh, we are actually missing a little bit. Oh, that troll chest from before! We can actually get to it now. I forgot about that. 
and another spot that's being guarded by a doll. But see that giant area all the way to the left of this floor? We can't actually go there yet, so it's actually pointless to try and 100% this floor now. Unless you have a lot of play coins. There is a power spot nearby. Let us investigate the area. Number one. There we go. Please ambush me. Please ambush me. Please ambush me. Really? Okay, surely you'll ambush me the second time. Look out! There we go. Please be what I'm looking for. Yes! Be careful. Put up your dudes. Finally! It is the return of the silly face. If you don't know why I'm calling it that, then, uh, yeah, um, watch what they look like when they're knocked down. But anyway, I always want to think it kind of cool. It's like a bunch of ravens are holding up its eyes. But anyway, the Fate Seeker. This is the thing we need to defeat while it's cursed, and I normally like panicking them because they like to use bestial roar and spamming physical attacks. It is weak to ice though, so let's see, let's go with... Uh, you can't really do all that much and your weapon has a panic effect, which I actually don't want, so you'll just spam regular attacks. Kanji will probably also just use a regular attack, because I need it cursed, although I guess this is the first turn, I might as well set up a lethargy circle. Akihiko, yeah, let's Taro under it, that should help. And Silent Circle. Oh, alternatively, let's set that up. And I can Body Shield if things get really dicey. The Fate Seeker spends its first few turns thinking, and then eventually it will say that it's made up its mind, and then it starts to go full on offense on you. So that'll kind of counteract the debuff that it just put in on you. It, it's funny, like, I actually find this thing kind of nightmare retardant just because of how funny it looks when it's knocked down uh, and how silly a lot of its facial expressions are. Like the one that it makes when it gets hit. The only thing that I find remotely creepy about this thing is that when it fades out, you can actually see its teeth, like, behind its face, and that is a little bit freaky. There's just something kind of disturbing about just being able to see inside the head model of a character in a game and see their teeth. For those who don't believe me, look up Assassin's Creed 4 glitches. No, Assassin's Creed, yeah. Look up Assassin's Creed Unity glitches and you'll see what I mean. It's, it's really, really disturbing. Like, NPCs will have their faces not even, like, their face textures not appearing and all you can see is their eyes and mouth and hair. <laughs> It's, it's simultaneously hilarious and incredibly disturbing. I guess I can try and strength find you, and I guess we'll continue using this. Once I've finally got curls on you, I'll have Kanji spam Frost me. This thing has a ton of HP, but it's really not that bad. Like I said earlier, I actually welcome this thing showing up now. It's kind of a breather compared to some of the other things in this floor. At least it won't try and corrode you. It is actually weak to the curse ailment, so your chances of inflicting it with curse is pretty high. Yep, there's Bestial Roar. What the now, if it's still bound, that though, one's weak against okay, ice, good. Okay? Hopefully, Bestial Roar will keep it in check, so it doesn't, um... Yeah, if I Bestial Roar too, I think we'll act in order of speed. But anyway, uh, I can't have you attack, because that would potentially remove, um, its status effect. And if it does get uncursed later in this file, I need to recurse it. Yeah, I will need to go for best your ward now, because I want to make use of that golden link. So, I suppose while I'm here, I can talk about how golden link works. It's actually a very, uh, very good skill with the right setup. So what Golden Link does is that each successive Link after starting with the second, so it has no effect if you don't have any skills like Double Link or Triple Link and your Link only hits once. Each successive Link hit does 10% more damage starting with the second. And combined... Megado, ow. Yeah, that actually hurts less than I expected it to. Please stay cursed, please stay cursed. And agility bound. What the... Leader, your defense Still bound, good. You'll take more damage. I guess I can go ahead and use a... Oh, I can probably afford to just use uh, not with, um, the gear. You know, that's the thing. Revival spells in video games this is a bit of a weird tangent, but... 
Yeah, so uh, what I was saying, revival spells in video games, I wish that they had a different effect when there was no one to revive. That would, because often, you know, they're useless if there's no one on the field that you need to revive, obviously. Oh, that's just, I don't know, kind of my two cents on that. It's just kind of annoying having a bunch of skills and a character's skill set that you can't even use. So yeah, the, like, the double and triple link skills also make the initial hit and every additional link do more damage. Every link hit after the first one actually does double damage. And so combined with Golden Link, yeah, so that's very slightly more, but still, it adds up over time. Just as I calculated. And it takes damage from Curse, good. That huh? circle lasted a while. And there go our debuffs. Which means the circle's probably gone. Akihiko-san, you're on the verge of getting KO'd! <laughs> this is nothing. I still like how she uses uh, boxing terms for him. You are still agility bound though, which is great. I need to set that up again. I might want to set that up again, though. And I'll set that up again, because otherwise Negato is going to be hitting fairly hard against me. I'm so glad the agility bound. Otherwise I'd probably be missing a lot with Kanji here. I, I love its expression when it's on low health. I, I don't know why, I've always had this weird obsession with this particular type of enemy in the Persona games, because I just found they just look so funny. Just their, their facial expressions and just, I don't know, the whole concept of this giant face that makes weird expressions. Yes, Kamui would like it too. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this thing's actually not that bad. All it does is just spam Megado. Which is not that hard to deal with. I mean, it'll never get a weakness on you, and regular Megado is not all that strong. Megadola and Megadola on R, but regular Megado, not so much. Just need to make sure that I don't accidentally erase the curse status before finishing this thing off. Thankfully, Kanji is still the your war, and he was fast enough to always strike first with it this whole time. And best your war again. Ow, 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 ow. I don't really care, though. Okay, I think I should still get it. It was cursed when it went down. <sighs> More Null Petrify fodder, I guess. So, Moment of Truth. In the words of Rocket Rec... Well, in... I don't... I can't quite remember the exact line, but in the almost words of Rocket Raccoon, I'm gonna need that guy's eye! Well, as strong as a monster. Did I get it? Uh, I, I guess it was a monster. But... <laughs> I was about to actually say that, but yeah. We got it! Monitor Eye! We got the eye! Come on. I can't stop here. Uh, I, I guess I should go ahead and use a revival. Because we're going to be leaving here soon anyway to turn in these two requests. It's a shame that I never actually got this earlier uh, in the floor because this is like, oh boy, this is a really, really, really good reward you get out of the Monitor Eye. Uh -oh. I pressed the wrong button and ran into a doll. I knew I'd do that sooner or later. So, yeah, that's what I said about Tip of the Iceberg. These things are genuinely pretty terrifying looking. They are actually weak to electricity, like pretty much every FOE here, but I'm gonna just try and get out of here. Please, please don't kill me, doll. Oh no. Ow. Oh no. Akihiko-san, you're on the verge of getting KO'd! Again. This is nothing. Oh, come on! Please tell me that I'm not gonna finally get the ambush and then good. That's something to worry about with those dolls pressing the wrong button and accidentally running into them. Thing is, you would have seen that race. really disturbing doll um sludge pile on the next floor anyway. Because running into one is pretty much inevitable at that point. Yeah, you need to be keeping an eye on the wall here. The treasure box. I wonder if there's protein inside. Nope, not unless this thing is, this thing is armor made of, entirely of protein. But you can actually see that from the very start of the dungeon, so I finally got that just after I bought new armor for a lot of people. 173. That's pretty solid defense, I'll take that. 
I will need to organize my items too. And there was also one tile that there was a doll on that I have not actually explored yet. So I'll need to take care of that. I forget which tile it actually was though. Oh no, wait, it was one here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's this one right there. So I need to actually go back to the earlier part of the floor to get that one. Shouldn't be too far? It's probably better just to use this. Because while we're here, let's not sell our stuff because we actually need to turn this thing into the nurse's office. I might actually... You know, if this works out, I might actually be able to demo the really, really, really good item after all. So let's report. Uh, I want to report this first because I want this. I want this badly. Thank you very much. <laughs> the ultimate face. Yes, yes. Uh, clearly, Kamui put that request in. He must get Elizabeth to make the ultimate face, and then he will touch it. <laughs> The master's nose. <laughs> this will be your reward. But that was well worth it. Goho M more. I'll be explaining what that does after I turn this one in. The other request was a lot harder because you actually had to fight something for it. This you just need to go Thank and get a wax nib, and this one gives you a lot more experience. <laughs> Well, I think we all know how this is going to end. Oh? Is that true? Yes. Oh, more Akiko being incredibly dumb in this game. Thank you. Yeah, let's so just now. ignore that. And I feel like Akihiko will probably be sitting out of the next exploration. You know, it'd be really funny if he ends up learning a skill out of this. You have leveled up. We actually have Goku in Tor. <laughs> I'm growing too, you know. Mass defense buff on Junpei, which is gonna be pretty useful. Mass speed buff on Tor. We're just getting mass buffs on everyone uh, in this dungeon floor. I guess that kind of goes somewhere to making this a little bit more memorable. We'll take that on next time. Let's just go ahead and heal. And let's go and get that one square so I can show off what the Goho M more does. I've been really looking forward to this. I have been looking forward to getting this item so badly. This is, in my opinion, probably the best item in this entire game. Yes, even better than an impure reach skill card. Thankfully, the darkness key doors stay open. There seems to be a switch up ahead. What should we do? With the lights on, we can step on this square, and that is, for real this time, everything we can explore on this floor without going to the fourth floor. Oh, I actually do need to set foot in the fourth floor, though, because that will unlock another request. So, excuse me while I get back there. You know, knowing my luck, this is going to be another fate seeker. Three enemies, and they're pretty strong. Okay, it wasn't. Keep your guard up. Orders, leader. I'm counting on you. Let's head down to the very, very depths of this place, which we won't be exploring just yet. We actually can. And we'll be eating when we go back, so that's fitting. <laughs> well, as much as I want to say this, Gary Sue would say this. Got it. So we're close to the end. Do 
But what we can do here is... This thing right here. Goho M more. Infinite use Goho M. We no longer have to buy them ever again. Best item in the game, and that's why I recommended that you complete that side quest as soon as you possibly can. I'd actually recommend just constantly resetting the power spot at the beginning of that floor until you get a Fate Seeker, just to get that early, because that thing just is just saves you so much headache. For only one inventory slot used up, you can return back to base anytime you want from anywhere in a dungeon. Cannot stress enough how helpful that is. So, next time, we will be exploring the fourth floor of the Evil Spirit Club. Actually, we won't be because we just unlocked a couple new requests. And I usually like to make them their own parts. Yep, there's another test your skills one, and we also have to save Yosuke from a horrible, painful death. So, that will be next time. See you then.